if you have like an acting exercise or a support group you want to go to and they happen to ask a question of who your hero is, I would strongly recommend thinking of Genghis Khan for that answer. Hello everyone, my name is Duke and I'm the Duke of Italy and welcome back to another video. That intro was a train wreck. I'm sorry, but like I don't remember how my intros go. This is this is just the way things go by now. You should already you should already know about this funny. Wow, I even messed up the messing up. This is something special. Anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the graphic novel slash omnibus slash volume of Batman and Robin, volume 7, Robin Rises, because it was a good read. And uh, <clears throat> this particular book is by Peter J. Tomasi, Patrick Gleason, Andy Hubert, and uh, Mick Gray, which is a... I don't know anything about them, but they, they seem to did an alright job with this book. Anyways, this book, the reason I got it in particular was because in the, ver the very beginning of this book, it introduced a new suit for Batman. It was the the Hellbat suit. This shirt is the logo for the Hellbat suit. I got it on some website. I'm sorry if I don't leave the link in the description because I honestly don't have a link to it, but it's just about the coolest thing ever, that suit. And uh, it was used in Apocalypse. Now, the plot to this book is that a uh, warning. This is some major spoilers for Batman and Robin Volume 6 and Batman Incorporated, if you want to read those. Anyways, starting now, so Damian Wayne, the latest Robin, dies because um, he's killed by the heretic, who is a... He's a... A guy who's uh, made with Damien's same DNA, so Tully Al Ghul and Batman's DNA together, and uh, so Damien's dead, and he's taken by Razal Rishal Ghul, who, however you pronounce his name, but uh, he's taken by him, and he's in Nine of Parvat, and then he's if that's just not the name in Arrow, but uh, you see his body is taken back again, and now it's at Apocalypse with Dark Side and. Uh, a new guy named Calabac. He's Darkseid's son, who looks nothing like him. Genetics is a cruel mistress, it, but that's definitely not it. But because because I like smart talk and references and stuff. How much time am I at? Two thirty-two. Okay. Uh, so the plot is it, it's pretty good. It's about uh, so they go to Apocalypse and they try and get Damien back from the dead uh, with Batman's new Hellbat suit and uh. Also, what he does is it feeds off of his uh, metabolism. Just tap my bone. Uh, it feeds off of Batman's metabolism while he's wearing it. And what it does is it basically is the strongest suit. It can go invisible. It can do all these crazy things. And it's just so good looking. And he could switch who it takes the metabolism off of to other people to give it a temporary bit of power. Uh, it was made by the Justice League. But uh, then all the Robins go to Darkseid, except for Damien. Oh, he's already there. But everybody goes dark uh, apocalypse to fight there, and but Robin, Damian Wayne is in this book. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in any of the future books if he didn't know about that. So he does come back. No way! I'm not gonna tell you how, but it's a pretty cool way. You're gonna expect it. Like, was Duke lying about this? Maybe I am. But uh, if, if you don't believe me, I'm sorry. This is a weird video, but uh, <clears throat> it's an all right plot. But it ends up with uh, Robin back at his house doing some shenanigans and all that. But uh, the, bi the biggest problem with this book is that uh, nearing around the end, Robin's back and he's just testing out some stuff. Like, he's back from the dead, so everything's all crazy. So he's testing out. So you'd expect it gets really weak at this point. Like, it's honestly not bad, but it's just nowhere compared to the Hellbat section how Batman was just fighting dark side level guys with a suit that feeds off his own metabolism that's meant to be one of the strongest things in existence. That means it can clearly fight against Superman, and it might be able to even kill Superman if he could just attach it to his head long enough. But, uh, <clears throat> it's really cool. I just lost my train of thought, like I always do. But, uh, it's just the ending to this, or how it ends, it's really, really weak. It's kind of like an extra, like, TV special after the movie of, like, tying up loose ends. 
Uh, which is why smart people don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Shots fired! Uh, I'm kidding. I don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but if you watch it, that's fine. Uh, but it surprisingly holds well. Like, it definitely feels not as good, but, like, it's much better. Like, it's not good. If you, if you want to, if you like reading entire graphic novels in one day, you're gonna hate this. Because it's just gonna drop substantially from all this crazy action to Damian Wayne being oh, just a total mean kid and he's just going around saying, oh, I'm back from the dead and all this stuff, look at me. And, uh, so my final rating for this book, I, it actually took a lot of thought with this. It's a 7 out of 10. Because for the intro, which was superb, um, the letdown ending, which is probably around a 6 out of 10. And uh, there's also a bit of add-on near the end, which is an extra two issues of comics from a bunch of different things they did. It's got two different art styles. One is kind of like a Tim Burton-y thing, and the other is a, in space. And it's meant to be like a little bit like after this. Uh, yeah, it was really good. It's got a bit of Nightwing at the very, very, very end. Uh, so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching my review of Robin Rises. And, uh, if you guys could leave a like, leave a comment. Oh, yeah, speaking of comments, i am decided to do another Q&A video. But, only problem is, I don't have any comments. So, please do leave a comment on here or my Instagram. Either of those things, my Instagram is Duke underscore of underscore Italy. If you want to follow me, check me out. Uh, it's a pretty good quality post of me showing off my comics. Uh, anyways, thanks, leave a like, leave a comment, share this video on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Out of there, T. Bye.